Hello, everyone. So now we are going to discussing about uh, how to create AP invoice for auto approvals. So it means that how you are going to auto approval or how you are going to enable auto approvals for AP invoices based on the invoice header level amount. So as for the client requirement, which we have done recently, uh, saying that like, you know, they had given a couple of uh, business scenarios where the if the invoice amount less than thousand dollars or equal to thousand dollars and greater than thousand dollars, it has to go to the approval supervisory uh, hierarchy. Right now, we are going to discuss about the less than or equal to thousand dollars. Right for that, what are the prerequisites are required? So here, first, the as being as a consultant, we should have the BPM admin role. That's the main thing, and and how many business units they are using and like you know what does the amount they are going to use it in our scenario so is since it is a demonstration so i have taken as a business unit es1 business unit es1 business unit and um kpn was amount is thousand dollars and the user is that which already i have created user and user ID and uh, this is same and initiate for approvals and validate either invest got auto auto or not so this is the our topic today so let's get into application so once you log into application so where should you go and create the approvals so click on notification bell icon as a notification and click on work list once you click on work list you may see this kind of screen which is nothing but as a bpm work list so once you log in that go to go and create i mean just go and click on task configuration search for ap rules this is the ap rules it will take a while to while open the screen yeah so now it is already in edit mode only. So no need to worry about now. Just go and click on assignee and look for which rules got enabled at present. Here I can see the invoice document of cover. Just click on here the blue icon and go to rule. So just now I have created one rule here. Uh, which already uh, I can see that existed one of the rule uh, auto approval rules. I disabled that one and created a new one as per my requirement. Here I can see that vision auto approval rule. So how to disable or enable this one? Just go and select the rule name and click on properties. Here you can see the checkbox called as a active. If you go and disable it, this particular rule will be disable in the application. So it won't be working for any invoices. And if condition, if condition we can select the task name, how you're going to derive the, your rules. So invoice header, invoice amount less than $1,000 and task payload, invoice type is that standard, only standard, okay? And invoice header, business unit name is us1 business unit if my criteria is meeting while we create invoice by using these three conditions then i am saying that it has to auto approve response type is that required and number of approval levels is one and here i see auto action enable true and auto action is approved rule name is that what we have created here right this is how we need to enable the rule for AP invoice for auto approval. So once everything is done, click on validate. So why do you want to validate? So it will the system will go and validate all the, the components what we have given here. If any errors are there, or if the validation get failed, then we can see all the error messages in the down in this place. Message under that we can see the all the error messages. Since it is looks good, so that you can go ahead and you can save. 
and click on commit task. Say yes. Successfully done. So now we have configured auto approve for AP invoice. So we'll do the test case here. For that, I will log into the username reason. Select vision name as a credentials. Yes, you can see here notification what it is. This upload, you must get upload. Oh, that's okay, fine. So now I will go and create one sample invoice. Either our upload rules will be working good condition or not. So click on task, create invoice. Select ES1 business unit. That's what we have given in the approval rules, right? So give that. And the supplier name is ABC supplier. Select supplier name. Site and uh, legal entity will get automatically populated. And give the invest number 23434. Three, 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 four. And here I can give $100, $100 sorry, $900. And click on save. Go to line level information to provide. Click on plus symbol, select $900 and do validation. So it will get, here you can see 981 rupees is the your dollars, right? Just save the, uh, change it. And again, click on validation. Since we do have another investor with the same in, uh, investor amount, that's why it is showing us, right? So now, just go and click on manage invoice, click on approve, and initiate. Just refresh the page and take this invest number. Click on save and close. Click on reset. The recent this is the one which got we created just now and go and look at the valid tab now it is showing as initiated right just wait for some time it will get auto approved just refresh the page again and wait for some more minutes it is showing as initiative state only so we can go and click on view approval notification history is and test is the is line level manager but our invoice amount is the less than the what we have given right hundred dollars so it will get out of what i uh, as per the rule yes let's see still it is showing as a it will take some time because it's your flow of full rise so it has to go back and then do the validation and then meet the criteria of the, our uh, rules and then it will update the status from the back end. So that is how it is. Okay, no worry. Log out and log in once. This is the inverse which we have. Yes. Now we can see that it got out of four. It means it means what are the approved rules we have created that is working as we expected. So this is how we should create 
auto approval of the AP invoices. If you have any doubt, any concerns, just you can keep uh, posted your uh, questions in the comment so that like I will address those things. Thanks for time. We'll catch up in next discussion.